Let's write 1.5% as a fraction, a decimal, and a ratio. So let's start with 1.5% as a fraction. So we could, when we look at the percentage sign, that just means over 100. So we could just write 1.5 over 100, get rid of the percent symbol, and this is a fraction. It's probably better not to have a decimal point here in our numerator. And if we move, and if we move this to the right, that'll give us a whole number. We do need to move the decimal point here to the right as well, which would just mean we add a zero. So now we have 15 over 1,000, and that is a fraction. Get rid of this. So 1.5% is the fraction 15 over 1,000. But we can simplify this because 5 goes into 15 three times, and 5 goes into 100 four times, so it would go into 1,040 times. So when we simplify the fraction, we end up with 3 fortieths. So these are equivalent. This is just in simplest terms. And this is our fraction for 1.5%. If you wanted to have a decimal for 1.5%, you could just divide 3 by 40 or 15 by 1,000. Probably easiest to divide 15 by 1,000. So let's write 15 here. And then, then when we divide by 1,000, we'll move the decimal point here three places. 1, 2, 3. So we need to write a 0 in here. And we'll put a zero out front just to show that we have our decimal here. And 0 0.015, that's the decimal for 3 fortieths, 15 one thousandths, or 1.5%. If you want a ratio, you could just write 3 to 40. That would be our ratio in simplest terms here. This is Dr. B looking at 1.5% as a fraction, a decimal, and a ratio. Thanks for watching.